Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Goding is for Girls. It's very early in the morning and I'm already at Django Con Europe venue. Yesterday in the evening we set up almost everything and we only need to do some small touches today and finish decorating and then the venue will be open. So follow me around, I will show you bits and pieces. It won't be super long because I have a lot of work to do as organizer, but I will try my best. After months of preparations, a day before and the morning of the first day are most crucial. On Tuesday, before the conference, we had to pack all swag bags. Bags that contain small conference and sponsor gifts. This year we had pins in shape of saxophone, which was an official conference emoji. Booklet with conference program, cards, pencils, stickers, put up a sky, temporary tattoos and so on. We packed 350 bags for all our attendees. Then we had to sort the socks. Instead of standard conference t-shirt, we decided to have something more neutral and exciting. Socks with custom DjangoCon design. Now I know how more than 1,000 pairs of socks looks like. Since the conference was held in a Budapest music center and we decided on music team for the whole DjangoCon, we ended up having unusual patch. We found a company that produces cassettes and ordered three and a half hundred of them. We couldn't resist having something recorded on them. We secretly asked people in Django community to record something for the batch and we put it together on the cassette. To decorate the main room we decided to use gold balloons. We managed to misspell DjangoCon at least once during the process, but in the end the whole thing looked very impressive. Tip for anyone who would like to do something similar, you should always have spare letters. We lost G in action, but we had doubles for each letter, so that was fine. The first day of the conference starts very early for organizers. We had to finish decorating the space, set up the registration desk with bags and badges. What was amazing about Budapest's music center is that it was animal friendly. And two people came with dogs. And here is Loki. As far as I know, Loki even got a job offer from one of Django sponsors. Then the conference started with Batist welcome talk. Okay, I have Batist here. We're about to start. Can you say something, Baptiste? Something, Baptiste. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really say anything, I'm just too nervous. He started with thanking people who made DjangoCon 2016 possible. Organizers, volunteers, sponsors, speakers, workshop leaders and, of course, attendees. He also reminded about code of conduct and explained to the audience what is the main theme for the conference, which was intersectionality. The videos from the DjangoCon Europe are already available, so if you want to see the talks, you can just go to the description and I put the link there so you can check that out. Then three days of talks started. In my opinion, there was something amazing in every single one, and there were talks for everyone, for beginners, intermediate and advanced programmers. Topics cover things like channels, building your own Django backend, microservices, or even Harry Potter or emojis. On second day, there was a party for all attendees held in one of the Budapest ruined pubs. There was a live music, drinks, lemonade, and loads, loads of board games. After the last day of talks, we closed the conference with a group photo, as always, and invited everyone for the two days of sprints and workshops. If you don't know what Sprint is, just check out my vlog from Django Under the Hood. I explain it there. Once again, we decided to have Gong at the Sprint. It was shipped from Amsterdam and every person who contributed anything to open source product was invited to use the Gong. It's amazing how much fun people had with that. It was really, really exhausting week. And Budapest, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe was warm and sunny. It was amazing. Beautiful spring. If you was not there with us, think about joining one of the next conferences. 
There will be DjangoCon US in Philadelphia soon, and in November, next Django Under the Hood. And I think conferences are an amazing place to learn and meet awesome people who love programming. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me if this kind of relation is interesting for you or not. And see you next time for my Python video. And remember, if you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe this channel and stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you! Bye.